How's it going everyone, JakeXVX here, back on Forza Horizon 4 once again. Today I want to be talking about quite a big topic in regards to Forza Horizon 4. The favourite videos that I make on this channel are information, clues, updates, predictions about the future of Forza Horizon 4 and just keeping you all up to date with what's going on. Now this is sort of one of those but a little bit different. I want to be talking about the car sound situation in Forza Horizon 4. As nearly everyone knows, the car sounds in Forza Horizon 4 are just very disappointing. I think the main things that make it so disappointing is not only are the car sounds not up to the standards of 2019 racing games, but the fact that in the previous Forza Horizon games the sounds were actually better and now they're just naff. It's, that's what makes it so weird and disappointing. However, there's a few things I want to talk about in today's video about how I think that there is a possibility, not a massive possibility, but possibility that in the future, whether that's next month or in six months, in Forza Horizon 4, that we will get a huge sound update. Now, as I said, back in Forza Horizon 1, Forza Horizon 2 and Forza Horizon 3-ish, the car sounds were actually quite good. My personal favourite was Forza Horizon 2. They just nailed all of the car sounds in that game, in my opinion. And in the Forza Motorsports as well, Forza Motorsport 4 had fantastic raw sounds, Motorsport 5 and 6 was alright as well, Motorsport 7 has been quite different but also they've got decent sounds as well, especially with the new car sound update they just received. And Forza Horizon 4 is kind of stuck with, you know, not much, it's very disappointing. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you every single reason, whether it's a little or big reason, that I think that in the future of Horizon 4 we may get a big car sound update. Now, lots of you may think that the Playground games don't actually listen to uh, the community because we suggest loads of things and we never get them. But I would disagree in a way. To be honest with you, I think Playground games do listen. There is tons of things that Playground games have added just based on feedback. There are tons of cars they've added just based on feedback. I think there's only one or two things that are major requested features that they haven't done yet. One of them being the car sounds. Think of it this way. If you go to the Forza monthly live streams, you'll see that the chat is absolutely full of people saying car sounds, car sounds, fix the sounds, car sound update, are we getting an update, fix car sounds, car sounds are rubbish, not playing this game, blah blah blah. The amount of people saying it is unbelievable. I remember in the last Forza monthly live stream there was a Q&A where us viewers ask questions and then answer them and I saw the questions coming through and the amount of questions that were about car sounds was ridiculous and what did they do? They didn't answer a single one. Now think of it this way, they gave us the opportunity to ask them questions and what did they do? They didn't answer any of them to do with car sounds. This makes no sense. A company like Playground Games says they listen to the community. There is no reason why they should completely ignore the thousands of messages in chat that spam car sounds along with the questions as well. There's no reason they should ignore that unless they've got something in mind. I personally think that there's a chance that they are working on something in the background to do with the car sounds, whether it's a little update or a complete big rechange of the sounds. It just doesn't make sense. The amount of people that suggest and just spam them about these car sound issues and ask questions that just get ignored in the Q&As about the car sounds, and they just, they just don't address it. They haven't even said, ah, oh, we see a lot of you mentioning car sounds, yeah, just, yeah, we'll, we'll let you know about that when we know more. They haven't even said that. They have not mentioned it at all, literally nothing at all. And if they listen to the community like they say they do, which I believe they do, they've got to at least mention it unless they've got a reason behind it. And I think they might do. The Instagram comments, the Twitter posts, the forum suggestions, the YouTube comments, the YouTube live stream comments, all the hate and messages they get about the car sounds not being up to standards and not being very good. And they haven't mentioned it or replied to it once at all. So they are either not interested at all and they cannot be bothered to tell us, which to be honest is pretty bad, or they're planning something or thinking about planning something. Now the other interesting thing which has actually only happened recently which I want to show you all, on Twitter there is a guy called Sonic Barber, I think his, his at name is, and he's the audio director 
for Forza Motorsport. But he tweeted this five hours ago, so exact same day that this video was released, he tweeted this. Forza Audio Assemble, audio leads and directors from all three Forza titles in same place at same time today in the UK. I expect the conversation to gravitate towards sound things. Maybe cars will come up. Now, as I said, he is the audio director for Forza Motorsport. However, the audio director for uh, Playground Games, which is Forza Horizon, he retweeted it, as you can see here, Douglas Watson. Now, I find that very interesting. The Forza Motorsport audio director is meeting up with other audio directors, possibly including the Playground Games one as well for Forza Horizon car sounds. Now, I find this quite weird because, as you already know, Forza Motorsport has just received quite a relatively large sound update. Quite a lot of the V12 and rotary cars were updated and give a better sound, and it was genuinely quite good. But even though Forza Motorsport has already been updated to have decent sounds, he, the director, is meeting up with other sound directors again for possibly something extra. So are we going to see even more Forza Motorsport car sound updates? Or because the Forza Horizon sound director is going to meet him, are they going to talk about updating Horizon as well? But the point I'm trying to get across is, at some point, it seems like quite some quite important people when it comes to sounds in Motorsport and Horizon are going to meet up and talk about sounds. That's all we really know. I think the main issue with Forza Horizon isn't because the sounds are bad. I think it's because quite a lot of them are duplicated and removed. Like the Lamborghini Gallardo, for example, it sounds exactly the same as loads of other cars for no reason. Back in the other Horizon, it's had its, it had its own sound. It sounded just like a Gallardo, but they've removed it and given it a duplicate sound, which just makes no sense. The Nissan GTR sounded amazing in Horizon 2. It sounds amazing in Forza Motorsport, but in Horizon 3 and Horizon 4, it's just a bit off, really, a bit odd. Not to mention all the V12 Lambos and the Ferraris that just sound identical. Just, just mix up the sounds a bit, make them different. There is a slight possibility, whether big or small, that we may receive a car sound update of some sort in the future of Horizon 4. And obviously the reasons behind this is because of the tweets that have been going on, possibly a few meetings regarding car sounds, which we've seen proof on, and the fact that Playground Games are just completely, literally ignoring every single person that says car sounds on any social media platform which they should not do unless they're going to surprise us. A company like Playground Games who genuinely do listen to their community, it doesn't make sense for them to ignore us like this unless they've got something very big up their sleeve that they're going to surprise us with out of nowhere, which I am predicting today is going to happen. But keep remembering, I could be wrong. <laughs> Do let me know what you think in the comment section below. Do you think we're going to receive something? Do you think they're ignoring us? What do you think the tweets mean? The guys meeting up, talking about sounds and everything, talking about audio, possibly car sounds will come up. Because we've got quite a while of Forza Horizon 4 left, I wouldn't be surprised. Think of it this way, all the updates we're getting, obviously the Playground Games team are hard at work getting these update and new features coded and made, but the audio designers... There's not much audio in every update that I know of. There's probably quite a bit of work to do, but I think that it's quite possible that the Forza audio designers for Playground Games and Motorsport are allowed to do their own thing and completely redo all the audio, the car sounds and everything, if they get asked to. And I think they have been asked to. And also, think of it this way. All of the new cars that have been added, quite a lot of them have sounds which are already in the game. So does that mean that the audio designers are busy doing other projects? You know what I mean? We'll have to wait and see. But I wanted to show you all this, talk about it, because I'm quite excited now, to be honest. I think we could possibly see something, because it doesn't make sense for Playground Games to completely ignore us like this. And there's clearly, clearly something going on on Twitter. So that'll be exciting to see. But anyway guys, leave a like if you've enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already for more Forza Horizon 4 content, and I'll see you all later.